Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Happy Monday. As you can tell, I'm feeling kind of super chill and casual today. I have had the absolutely most like crazy busy weekend. I had no time to film, so I'm kind of like filming, editing, and uploading this video all today. And so I was just like, you know what? We're just gonna be cozy, we're gonna be comfy, we're gonna leave the glam for another day. Uh, but if you guys are digging this, this is my brand new double hood sweatshirt from Mindy Mae's Market. It is super comfy. I've obviously been like loving on their clothes lately. And I have heard you guys, I do plan on doing like a affordable clothing whole kind of deal in the near future. I'm just waiting for a few things to arrive in the mail. So one of these days, maybe later this week, at the very latest, early next week, that should be happening. But in the meantime, today we are going to be unboxing my BoxyCharm. This just came in the mail today. I'm very excited to show you guys what's inside. There's some, there's some good stuff this month. But before we jump into things, I want to say hello and welcome to any of you who are new to my channel. My name is Lauren. Thank you so much for coming and hanging out, chatting beauty with me. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so I hope you'll click that subscribe button, come back, hang out with me again in the future. Usually I'm a little bit more glam, but you know, your girl, honestly, like normally, this is usually, this is usually what is happening on, on a day-to-day -day basis. Also, side note, these are my brand new glasses. I just picked them up today because I needed a new prescription. I got them from Target. I think they are quite cute and I appreciate actually being able to see myself in the viewfinder for once. It's nice. All right, so let's open this bad boy and see what we've got inside this month. The theme is sweater weather, which is entirely what all of a sudden happened. Like we had the most mild October here in New England. It was really warm and then November hit and it's like freaking freezing. So yes. Yes, boxy charm. It definitely is. So the first thing in this box is actually super exciting. I think this is the product that everybody was like going bananas about, and that is the Cover Effects Illuminating Setting Spray. According to my little card here, this normally retails for $31, which is pretty darn pricey. Cover Effects is a really popular like Sephora and Ulta brand. They have some really nice stuff. I love their matte setting powder. So good. They also have those like um, custom enhancer drops, the little like highlighter drops, um, all kinds of really cool stuff. And I've heard some good things about this setting spray, or at least I've heard that the mist on it is supposed to be really, really fine. If you watch Kathleen Light's channel, which I know I do, she said that you really need to shake this up really good because there are like shimmery particles in it. And if you don't disperse them evenly then they kind of land on your face funky and you'll get like splotches of glitter so oh dang it's got a little shaky bits in there let me take my glasses off before i do this i was kind of curious to see oh dang that is nice like that feels so fine on your skin i don't think i have ever used a setting spray that's quite as fine as that so yeah, <laughs> of course now I'm breathing it in. <laughs> I'll have to take a look at myself in the mirror later to see if I'm looking crazy, but if you guys can see, I don't know if that illuminated me. So yeah, I'll have to try this out with makeup later on and see if it actually really makes your skin look more luminous, if it makes your makeup wear longer or anything like that. I do have oily skin, so the idea of an illuminating setting spray is a little like, mm, as long as it doesn't make me look greasy, we should be fine. I don't mind looking shimmery, like I'm all about the glow, I just don't want to look like an oil slick, so I, I will let you guys know later on this month what, what the deal is with this. Alright, the next thing in my box is a lip product from the brand Laquan Co. Um, I remember them from Birchbox like years ago, I always used to get their products my Birch Boxes. They also have really good nail polish, like I don't think anybody really knows about it, but little like hidden gem of the beauty world with the Laquan Co. and nail polishes. A plus. So this says it is the Cloud Lips. It retails for $17. It's an airy matte lipstick that provides full coverage but feels as light as a cloud. Well then. Uh, this is in the shade Storm. So let's watch this bad boy and see what it looks like. Alright, so we're talking a very vampy color here. Ooh, that's pretty. So this is like a really deep wine shade. So it does look a little bit patchy because the kind of formula that this is, it's very thin and very probably lightweight on the lips. Duh, as I said, 
cloud lips. So I, I, I get that based on the way this is swatching. So as you build it up, it kind of builds a little unevenly. So I think this is the kind of lip product you're going to want to wear with a lip liner just to kind of make it go on a little bit more evenly but I think the texture on this like it feels nice when you swatch it so I'm really curious to see what that applies like on the lips. The next thing we've got in here is kind of a weird one. I've never tried one of these like collagen lip mask things before so this is kind of interesting. Uh, these are from a brand called KNC Beauty. We got three of them and they retail for $15. So I'm assuming that they are $5 a mask and that's $15 for the three of them. Then this says it's an innovative jelly mask for your lips that hydrate, moisturize, and plump your pout with natural ingredients. So if you've ever seen these, they look like a big pair of lips and it, it kind of looks like a jello jiggler. It's thin and you just kind of like lay it over your lips and you're supposed to leave it on for, it says 15 to 20 minutes, recommended for use two to three times a week. I've never tried one of these things. I love sheet masks. But the lip masks kind of like weird me out. I'm not really sure if they're just gimmicky. So maybe one of these days I'll have to do like a little skincare demo or something on Instagram and try this out for you guys so you can laugh at me while I look ridiculous. Now these last two things are actually what I'm personally most excited about in this box because they're eye products and you all know I, I have a thing for eyeshadow. It's a little bit of a problem. Uh, so we got an eyeshadow palette from the brand Winky Lux. This is so freaking cute. It's called the Kitten Palette and it has little little kittens all over it. Really adorable. Uh, this retails for $25. It says these ultra soft shadows glide on like a dream. The universally flattering collection of shades makes this palette as lovable as a kitten. Adorable. So this is what it looks like. There's no um, mirror inside which I can live without. I think keeping the price down and not having a mirror is something I don't really mind, but if you wanted to travel with this, it's kind of a little bit of a bummer that there is no mirror here. Um, but you do get six, six, you get nine pans of eyeshadow. I can count today. Um, and they look decently sized. Like these look almost like a full pan of eyeshadow. Like if you were gonna buy singles for a Z palette, they look like they're almost that size. So that's pretty cool. Um, you get in this 13.5 grams of product. So that's not bad. You got a really nice variety of colors here. I love the like sort of more mauve purples and some neutrals. And you got this kind of like fun blue shimmery shade here in the middle. It's kind of like a steely blue gray. I think you could create some really fun looks with this palette. So it looks like you get five shimmers and four mattes in here. So let's swatch some things and see how they look. I'm going to swatch this dark red color because those can sometimes be patchy as heck. Seems really pigmented. It's nice. It actually, and this is the thing with swatches, you kind of have to blend it a little bit because you know you're going to blend those shadows out on your eyes. You're not just going to like put it on in one swipe. Um, so it looks like they blend nicely in, into the skin. So that's promising. And then I've seen this shade swatched and oh my god, it looks so cool. This one here looks really unassuming in the pan, but it's actually a duochrome that looks really cool on the eyes. Can you guys see that? I hope that you can. Uh, it looks, it's like a really cool, like iridescent sort of like blue pink shift. I think that's really, really pretty. So yeah, I have a feeling these are going to be surprisingly awesome, especially for the price. I definitely am going to have to do some looks for you guys and take some pictures or make like a little video tutorial so you guys can see them in action. And the last thing that we're getting in this box that I'm really excited about is from the brand Luxie. It's this quad eye travel set. So it's a set of four little travel eye brushes. It retails for $32. I love Luxie brushes. I've gotten quite a few of them from Ipsy and in my BoxyCharm before, I believe. So I, I think that they make really nice, um, like high quality brushes that wash really well. Oh my God, look at how tiny and adorable these are. Um, most of the ones that I have are full sized. Actually, I'm pretty sure I have like this exact style brush in the full size. It looks like the actual bristle parts on these brushes are the same as a full size. It's just the handles are shorter to make them travel friendly. So this is really super cute. You get it looks like this little um, like angled shader brush. You get a little flat liner brush, or you could use that for your eyebrows. You get a little like eye definer brush. This would be nice for like packing color on the lid. And then you get one other sort of 
like longer or fluffier brush this would be nice for putting color into the crease you would need probably something a little bit bigger and fluffier to blend things out but yeah I think this is a really super cute little set of eye brushes I don't know if I would spend $32 on this to be honest but I'm glad that I didn't have to because BoxyCharm is the bomb so that was everything that was in my BoxyCharm for November I hope you guys had fun unboxing it with me I'm pretty sure the retail value of everything in total for this month's box was $120 and the subscription costs $21 a month when you pay monthly, which is insane. I have no idea how they do what they do, but it is by far my favorite subscription box that I have ever tried because you really just get great products. They've been including more and more high-end brands, and every month you're guaranteed to get five full-size products. Not every single one is going to be like a Sephora brand, but compared to a lot of subscriptions where you're just getting like little tiny samples, I feel like this gives you full-sized makeup that will last you a really long time and is really high quality. I'm very excited to see what they're going to be doing for us in 2018 because I'm sure it's going to just like totally blow our minds. If you guys enjoyed this video and like unboxings like this, please give this one a thumbs up. I really appreciate your support. And again, if you're not already subscribed, push that button. You know you want to do it and that way you'll be notified for our future videos. Come back again on Wednesday, hang out with me. I'm sure we'll have something fun to chat about. And in the meantime, I hope you guys have an awesome, awesome rest of your day, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.